Welcome to City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have the pleasure of sitting down with a young lady that is definitely going to go places because she already has the look, the posture, and all of that to go with it. I'm happy to be sitting down with LaGrange intern, Abigail Hill. Abigail, welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, you know, Abigail, you have just beautified the studio here this morning. Uh, and as I stated, you're definitely going to go places because you already have the posture, you have the look. It's going to do well with the career path that you have chosen. But before we get into talking about that, tell us just a little bit about yourself, if you don't mind. Well, thank you. Um, I am an intern here at the Communications Department at the City of LaGrange. Okay. I am currently a sophomore at Southern Union State Community College, and when I am finished at Southern Union, I hope to transfer to continue my studies and pursue a degree in broadcast journalism. Okay, in journalism, okay, and broadcasting. Yes. So you want to be over on this side during the interviews, no doubt, right? Right, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, as I stated, you got the posture, you got to look for it, and I know that you're going to do well. Tell us a little bit about yourself, though, Abigail, if you don't mind. Well, I am one of six. I am the fourth daughter of six children. I am, um, I am a jack of all trades. I'm a musician. I am a, I used to play sports. Okay. I do many, many things here at the station. I am uh, taking over the city scene show and in that I have done scripting, I've done filming, I have done hosting okay. and with that I am hoping to continue and host this show as um, the next host. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> yeah, next week's host for City Week. Okay. So. Alright, so you, I, I, I gave you all those accolades and then you're going <laughs> to take my job, right? Oh no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know what, I, I think again you do very well wherever you go, uh, whatever you do because you do have the posture and the look for uh, one of six. And, yes. and, and Abigail, there's I think a little known fact about you, you know, as we were talking before we came on the show and I asked you a question, I said, well, tell me a little bit about you. And you said, well, I don't necessarily like that question <laughs> because, you know, I spent the most of my childhood in Roanoke, Alabama. Yes. Talk about that for me a little bit, if you don't mind. Well, um, yes, I was born in Georgia and uh -huh. we moved to Alabama when I was six, but my parents are from the Vir Virgin Islands. So a lot okay. of times I'm asked, where are you from? And I don't like that question because I don't, I, I can't answer that well. Okay. Um, I get asked that because of my voice, my accent. Okay. Um, and it's hard for me to say, well, I'm from Georgia because I'm not really from, you know, I don't live in Georgia. Right. And I, yes, I do live in Alabama, but that's not really where I'm from. I'm Either. from the Virgin Islands okay. because my parents are from the Virgin Islands, but um, I live in, I live in Roanoke, Alabama, in Roanoke, so Alabama. I'm from Alabama. <laughs> so, you know, and, and when you talk about the Virgin Islands, Roanoke, Alabama. Yes. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my head wrapped around that transfer. Let me ask, what was it that brought your parents here to Roanoke, Alabama? That's a great question. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, my parents came to the States for school. My mom went to um, Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. Okay. And from there, they kind of stayed in the States. Um, I'm not sure how we came to Roanoke particularly, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but that's just where we are now. Land, that's where you guys landed. Okay. Yes. All right. So comparatively to the Virgin Islands, I would think back, hmm, Virgin Islands, Roanoke, Alabama. Mom, Dad, I think I'm going to go back to the Virgin Islands. <laughs> oh, right. It's <laughs> so beautiful there. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you occasionally go back? To? Occasionally. Okay. Yes. All right. What What parts do you miss? Or is there any part that, that you miss? Well, I was not born there, so I can't say that I miss it that mm -hmm. much. But okay. um, St. Thomas is where my family is from, so that's okay. where I like most. Okay. Very good. Well, our uh, assistant city manager, Teresa Taylor, who used to be here, is also from the Virgin Islands. Oh, uh, cool. Absolutely. A good friend of mine. Uh, she was here for about two years and she's moved on to other things now uh, and her hus her fiance her husband now she was from US Virgin Island and her husband was from the Bridges Bridge, Virgin Island. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So cool. so <laughs> definitely I, I, I know the area uh, and she owes me a trip back so uh, I'm definitely you looking forward to that. it. I got to <laughs> take it. That's right. So let me just get into what you're doing. You're a sophomore at Southern Union State Community yes. College. Uh, the campus there in Watley, Alabama. I think they have a number of campuses there. Yes. And you're studying journalism to maybe go on into broadcasting. Yes. Talk about some of the things that you're doing there on campus to prepare yourself, if you don't mind. Well, on campus right now, I'm just studying, um, getting my core classes in, doing uh, my basics. Okay. But I work for the Randolph Leader. So basically right now, the way I'm progressing myself in journalism mm -hmm. is working for a newspaper company, and so I'm getting the paper side of, of journalism. Okay. Um, on campus, by... Take, by um, 
doing more personal um, interviews with my classmates, doing projects that are smaller. That's how I'm progressing myself okay. to get more into broadcast. Okay, very good. Interviewing your classmates. Yes, <laughs> I do that. <laughs> talk about talk about which one. Have you had some difficult classmates to interview? Talk about how you dealt with it. I have actually. Um, sometimes the way I do with um, difficult interviews is having to rephrase questions, the same question over and over again. <laughs> um, I have to come back to a question, ask one question, and if I don't get the answer that I'm either looking for or get the the, que the answer that I um, that I prefer, uh -huh. I'll be like, okay, well, let's come back to that later, or you know, just go ahead and ask the same question again in a different in a in a different way, you know? Okay, absolutely. When you when you're interviewing your classmate, do they take you serious? Well you know sometimes when the class they see you and they see <laughs> yeah. Abigail in this light and then now you become all serious. Do they take you serious when you're interviewing? Yes. Okay. Yes they do. Okay. Um because they know that I am a journalist for okay. the no uh, local newspaper. So yes they do take me seriously. Okay, very good. And you also are doing you you also writing some of your scripts and things of that nature. Talk about that, and I, and I know that you, as an intern here, you also doing some script writing as mm -hmm. well. Uh, I think the city um, city scenes. Yes. you're doing city scenes. Yes. So okay. here at the city of Lagrange, I have kind of taken over the city scenes, and with that comes with um, scripting. Okay. The first few scripts that I wrote, um, Adam here helped me uh -huh. and I've progressed to write my own scripts and that's been a process but okay. I'm getting a little bit better at it and I think that um, I think that's something that I like okay. it's it's definitely a process that kind of pushes you out there to take initiative and that's something that I do anyway but um, it's something that I like and it's a it's a it's a learning curve it's mm -hmm. a process and is um, it's fun. It's, it's it's actually fun. I like it. <laughs> Very good. You know, talking about writing your scripts, and you know, I like to think I'm a kind of fly by the seat of your pants guy. Yeah. Teleprompting. Talk about your experience with teleprompting. Do you like it? Dislike it? How do you like? It? I do. I like teleprompting. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that you can never get it. Like it's never the same every time you do it. Uh -huh. Every time the words come up. You can read it once, you can read it twice, but it's never the <laughs> same way every single time. That's right. So um, teleprompting is fun, it's interesting, it's hard sometimes. <laughs> You have to fill in too sometimes, yes. right? When he rolls Improv. past. That's right. Yeah. Improv. <laughs> Absolutely. And I want to go back to, to you were saying when we got started. Um, another little bit of information that I didn't know. Uh, you jack of all. I heard yes. musician. Yeah. <laughs> what instruments do you play as well? I actually, well, when I was younger, I played piano. I played recorder. In high school, I played mellophone and clarinet. And those okay. are my main instruments, and I also played French horn. Wow. Okay. Yes. Just you are a jack of all then, aren't you? I am. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, I guess you know when you come from a big family like myself, you four six. I'm three of six myself, and and we found out we're just the opposites. There's four yes. girls, two boys, and your family is four boys, two girls in my family. Yes. So, so you you have to be kind of a jack of all this sometimes. Yes, you do. Not only entertain yourself, but entertain brothers and sisters, right? right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Now you were saying, and, and 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 I'm looking forward to 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 the next thing that you're going to be doing. But before we get into that, you here interning today with us. If there was somebody else that was watching the show and they wanted to come to intern here at LGTV, uh, I know that they can reach out to Adam. Can you give information about how to get in touch with him uh, to do intern? Um, to reach out to Adam, you can email him at aspees at lagrange.com. I think that is his email. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, reaching out to Adam, that basically is getting in touch with him to find out about internships. He's the internship coordinator here okay. at the city of LaGrange, and he is, I'm, I'm telling you, he's the best. Okay. <laughs> he's yeah. the best. Yeah, um, absolutely. Working with him is, he, he, he can take you all the way when it comes to internships. He wants to progress you and make sure that you have everything that you absolutely need to take to go to the next place wherever you want to go. Very good. And you know, you're talking about, and because you know, I, I met you when he brought you around and showed him like, wow, I know she's going to do well. How is what you're learning here with your scripting, teleprompting, the interviewing of your classmates, how do you think all those things are coming together to help you, uh, to prepare you for the future? I think those things are exactly what I need to prepare, prepare, me, to, um, to prepare me for the future mm -hmm. because that's exactly what I want to do in the future. As a news reporter, a news anchor, um, new, uh, scripting, report, scripting, 
reporting, Scripting, writing, all reporting, of those things, writing, right? um, mm -hmm. filming, those are the things that I will be doing. So getting those hands-on opportunities now is exactly what I needed and that's exactly what I wanted and I'm getting that here. Absolutely. You know, I, I was telling you before we came on the show, I had a fraternity brother of mine that worked for WTVM, I believe it was down in Columbus, and he would do just as he'd come up and watch me. Yes. And he would sit up his camera and he had to do his own Kinda stories. Get hands on. Yeah, the hands on. Uh, and I definitely want to make sure that I introduce you guys to each other uh, so that you can get an opportunity to watch him and shadow I would love him. That. Yeah, yes. absolutely. He's big time now. He don't call me very much. He's out of Houston, <laughs> so. But I think I can get through to him. It, it, you know, and, and I'm excited about you being here on the show and being here on the set because uh, uh, next week uh, you're going to get opportunity to sit in the hosting chair. Uh, how do you think? Are you excited about that? Talk about that a little bit if you don't mind. I am excited about that. Um, I did not know until a little bit last minute, but I'm super excited to be hosting. I think that it's something that will progress my skills. Uh -huh. um, hosting is something that is new to me, but it's something that I want to do and something that I really want to get better at. So this next opportunity next week is something that I'm super excited to just grab the reins and take off with. Well, and I know that you would definitely do a wonderful job uh, as I will not be here next week, but I do have a fill-in that I know would just carry the show on and, and it will be great. Um, and Abigail, I want to thank you very much for being here with us today and blessing our studio uh, with your grace, your poise and everything. And we want to wish you the very best of everything that you do. Uh, and again, this is Abigail Hill. She's an intern here with LGTV. Um, if you're interested, definitely uh, reach out to Adam Spears here uh, to learn how you can to become an, an intern and learn all of the wonderful things that they're doing here at LGTV. Abigail, I look forward to seeing the interview next week too. Even though I won't be here, I'm gonna make sure I to give you some, some critiques to only make you better, okay? Thank you, Elton. All right, thank you for being my guest today. Thank you. All right.